question from John Doe in Augusta, Maine, who asks, what does winterizing a concentrate mean and how is it done? Okay, so winterizing is a neat trick. Um, there, there's a bunch of different techniques that have been developed in order to, they call it polishing a concentrate, and it's ways of removing plant material and basically things from the hash oil that are necessary for the healing properties. And one of the things you can do to make a concentrate uh, more pure is to remove the cuticle wax. And cuticle wax, if you, if you think of a trichome, the little balls of cannabinoids that grow on the plant, if you picture that at like a water balloon, the cuticle wax is like the rubber of the actual balloon. It's not, it's not the healing chemicals, it's not the cannabinoids. It's just this, this waxy substance that's found in a lot of different plants. And it, <clears throat> it's temperature sensitive. So if you, if you have a concentrate and you put it in a solvent like organic ethanol, then all the oils are dissolved into that solvent and so are the cuticle waxes. Now, if you stick that in the freezer overnight or even for a few hours, the cuticle wax bunches together and globs up. And then if you just pour it through a coffee filter, the cannabinoids seep right through because they're still suspended in the solvent, but the, the cuticle wax sticks together and gets caught by the filter. And that process is called winterizing. It's, um, it's been popularized in something called dabbing that we're going to cover on in another video. So does removing that cuticle wax take out any of the healing properties or anything? As, as far as we know, no. There's, I, I hate to say that definitively because you don't know what you don't know, but in terms of the things that get celebrated about cannabis, they're all related to these endocannabinoids, and these, you know, it's the chemicals that are found in the brain. And cuticle wax is nothing special. It's found in all kinds of plants, and there, you know, there's, so there's no real reason to suspect that there's healing properties associated with cuticle wax. All right, cool. Awesome. Thank you.